today I've got a 08 X3 BMW. Uh, let's see, did it say? I do believe this is a 3 liter. And the problem with this car is I don't know if you can see it or not. See all the oil leaky mess down there? Oil has leaked all over the belt, causing the power steering pump to slip, causing the alternator to slip. Um, it's just an oily mess. The belt's got tons of oil on it. What's happened is the oil filter housing to head slash block gasket is leaking, and then this water cooler, this oil water cooler is also leaking. So we're going to take a change of gas. I'll show you a little trick on these. As you can see, this upper hose is swollen from all the oil and it's getting ready to blow off. So we're going to change the hose, we're going to change the gasket in between the cooler and the oil filter housing, and then we're going to change the gasket in between the oil filter housing and the head slash block. All right. The other two hoses look appear to be okay. We're going to put a new belt on it. We're going to clean all this up. So actually, when I started taking this one apart, they said it was steamy. I thought this was just swollen up from all the oil, but this hose actually has broken. And you can see that it's broken off there. So what actually happened is, yes, they have two problems. This hose failed, causing antifreeze to go all over everything and make the belt slip. But they also have that oil leak problem from the oil filter house. So we got the new hose. Where's the new hose? We got a, a new hose and all the gaskets. So I've taken the one cooling hose off the cooler here. They take this bolt out here, this bolt out here, and the cooler will come off and change that gasket. Then we'll get back and start changing the oil filter gasket too. I just had to take this off first. One down here must be There's the first gasket for the cooler. You see it's all flopped down. So now on the oil filter housing itself, there's a there's a torx bolt here, torx bolt here, and then there's one behind the intake manifold. Sometimes they tell you to move the manifold, they tell you to move the manifold back to get to that bolt, but sometimes I get sneak in here get that bolt down. So let me get the right size and I'll come back. All right, I went ahead and took the oil filter and got that out of the way. These are E10 reverse Torx, but also an eight millimeter 12 point will fit. So I'm gonna to try to get this one out here. 
with my 8mm 12 point. And there we go. Just a little tight. I don't remember if I have to take this hose off completely off the off of there to get this bolt out. So let me get this bolt out and then we'll go and try to get the bolt back here out. Alright, we got the bolt out over here. This bolt out, I'll take that one out. So to get to this bolt back here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take the power steering reservoir out of the way. There's two um, Torx bolts here. You remove those two, get this out of the way. And then we're going to have to get in here, and there's two more torque bolts there and two more torque bolts down there. Basically, those are the ones that hold the alternator in. And then we're going to try to sneak a, uh, a, a swivel in through here to get this last bolt out. Okay? So let me get this bracket off, and I'll come back. Okay, so those are the bolts that hold the alternator in. I took out the three bolts, and I just took that one loose. The alternator is still in there because the belt has pulled on it. So now, let me see if I can get my tool in here to get this last bolt. Okay, so I was able to get my quarter inch drive in here with a swivel, 5 sixteenths to get that bolt out. Alright, as you can see I got the housing off. There's the one bolt there, the one bolt there, and the one bolt here. Originally, I used to take the manifolds off, but then I said, hey, I might be able to get in there. So as you can see right here, I was able to get in there with a 5 16 quarter inch drive swivel with like an 8 inch extension to get that out. So we'll clean all this up, change the gasket here, change the gasket there, and get ready for reassembly. All right, I got the housing out all cleaned up and, and uh, used the safety clean machine. So I don't know if you can see, I pulled the one gap, but this is the... Uh, cooler gasket that sits here. This is the gasket that sits against the line. I don't know if you can really see it in the video, but it's all flat, nothing's protruding. And then the gasket for the oil one is, it's not brittle, but it's kind of, kind of hard. And now you can see that the new gasket is obviously protruding. These gaskets are all just flattened out and kind of cooked. So there's the new housing, we'll get all this back together. So now what I usually do is I start off with that hard bolt behind the manifold. So I put this on here and then go ahead and sneak this on in here. sneak that one in first, at least get it started. Okay, I got it started. So, oh, the alternator now is in my way of bolting it the rest of the way together because of had to take those bolts out of the alternator so now I can't swing down far enough to get that in so I'm gonna have to take go ahead and take the pop the belt off now to get this the rest of the way and let me pop the belt off I'll come back. all right now that I've popped the belt off now the house will drop down to where it needs to be I've got the back bolt started now go ahead and I'll get this bolt started lower one started that's why it's always good to keep them a little loose so you can wiggle wiggle give yourself some wiggle room you got to leave stuff loose and of course I forgot to put my gloves back on I've melted them in the, uh, the machine that cleans parts the parts the parts washer I melted my gloves in the partial washer so I forgot to put gloves on so now that you get everything
started. I'm just going to go ahead and plug this back in because I'll, knowing my luck, I'll forget to plug this one connector back in. So now that I've got all the bolts started, I'll go find out what the torque spec is and torque them down. Well, let me just go over the rest of it. So basically, after you get these torqued back down, you put the oil filter housing back on, then the cooler's going to get bolted back on and torqued down. The hose, the hose, and then I'm going to put a new belt on it because the belt is all nasty. Um, I don't think I need to show you how to take everything and put it back together since I've already showed you how to take it apart, how to get in there and get that one bolt that you can barely get to. I used to take the manifolds off, but then I found out you didn't have to. So there's an overview on how to change the oil gasket from the cylinder head to the oil filter housing and from the cooler to the oil filter housing, how to change your two gaskets. All right, everybody, thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you liked the video and please subscribe and comment below. Thanks a lot.